Hello friends, today we are going to draw some frogs swimming. Okay, so let's see how we do that and let's see the supplies that we need. We need markers, we need crayons, we need a paper. I'm using half a paper. Hope you have a half a paper. If you don't have a half a paper, uh, cut, ask your mom or dad to cut a paper in half for you, okay? We also need a whiteboard or a scrap paper to practice draw, okay? But before we start uh, drawing the froggy, what we're going to do is first let's um, learn something new today. We are going to learn about movement. What does the word move means? Move means to go from one place to another, right? So how will you show in your picture that um, something that you want? Like in this case, the froggy is moving. So in art, what you can do uh, to create, there are different ways you can uh, do to show movement, but we are going to create movement today by using um, some uh, repeating lines in this okay so um so by repetition that's why how we are creating movement so let's see how we are going to draw mr froggy so we are going to draw the frog from above you're seeing the frog swimming from above so i'm going to start um right in the middle of the paper i'm going to i'm putting the paper in the um portrait style okay and right in the middle i'm going to draw a line like this what line is that it is a horizontal line right so we have a horizontal line and then next what we're going to do is we are going to draw a u connecting from this uh edge of this line to this okay and now you can uh, make the eyes of the frog i'm going to make a small line here and a small curvy line i'm going to make a rainbow got that fill that in with black color okay maybe a big eye for your froggy okay and then uh let's add his nose okay and a big mouth so we have the froggy the rest of the froggy the body is um under the water so you can't see but uh the froggy is swimming so let's um make his legs so i'm going to draw uh, like a backwards F. F is this way, right? This side backwards F and this way, this like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a three or a C, C and a C, maybe three like that. Three and a C. And then I'm going to bring it down here. Same thing over here. Maybe you should have made the F a little bit more here. Not from the edge. Like that. Okay. So let me repeat this. I was not sure how to do this. So let's make the F. You're going to leave like um, two finger space. See two finger space from here. And then make a F. Two finger space. Make a dot. And F goes there then you're going to make a three maybe three is three is enough and then i'm going to go to the edge of the here where we started three and then come down we have his legs now we are going to draw this uh, i'm going to make a curvy line here another curvy line like that and this time we are going to make his um, like 
the webbed feet actually that is right but we are going to make a u another u like that another u okay u u u and then we're going to connect it connect it like that so we have his body if you want him to stick out his tongue then he'll look like a snake we don't want to stick out his tongue when you're swimming you don't stick out your tongue right so we have um him look you know, looking like he's swimming but we want to create movement we want to show the ripples in the water that's why we are going to add some lines to the water to show there is movement in the water so we can draw lines like that so repeated use of lines can show movement so uh, when you reach the, when you're making the squiggly lines when you reach the frog you are not going to draw over him you're going to just jump over him and then when you reach uh, a space where there is uh, any part of the frog or uh, the frog then you can draw the squiggly line so squiggly line i'm going to jump over and then continue squiggly line squiggly line see i jumped over the frog jump and then continue here squiggly line jump over and then continue so when you look at this you feel like there is movement and the frog is swimming right so that's how we create movement so now we know how to draw this froggy um see uh, and uh, if you think you are ready to draw the froggy on the paper you're going to take the paper i'm going to take my paper because i think i know where i made i learned from my mistakes on my uh, on my whiteboard now i know where to start my the frog's legs and things right so uh, right in the middle of the paper here maybe a little above i'm going to draw a horizontal small line but i'm i'm not going all the if you want to go all the way also it doesn't matter but i'm going to leave some space on either side okay a, hor a horizontal line and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to make i'm going to leave like four finger space on bottom i'm going to draw a line here and then i'm going to make a u starting from here passing through this uh dot that i made and finishing here so that is going to be the the frog's head the body you can't see except for the legs so now we need to make a small f so what i'm going to do is i'm going to leave two finger space from here i'm going to put my this finger on this point and then here i'm going to make a line same thing here make a line make a f going join this line make a backwards f like that okay or uh, you can turn the paper and make a l can you see the l like a l backwards l it's, it doesn't matter what uh, this thing is and then i'm going to make a three a big three and then i'm going to uh come down like that you can go all the way till here or you can stop here also so the leg is done um let's make his eyes so over here you can make eyes like a circle and a circle also that also would work i'm going to make the eyes like i'm going to make a slight curvy line on either side and then i'm going to make a rainbow on top okay mm, maybe another smaller rainbow and this one i'm going to i'll color this completely black this is the iris i'm going to make his nose trill and his mouth now let's make the uh his friend legs two curvy lines right then a u a u a u to this so one u is to the side another u so two u's 
to each side one is to the left one is to the right and then one in the middle and then I'm going to connect it so same thing here you then one to the and the one to the side and then I'm going to connect it with the curvy line not that much now uh, we can make the water lines to show movement right so so th making the frog uh, limbs or the legs this way is also a way of showing movement okay um, but another way is to make sure that anyone looking at your picture know that your froggy is swimming you can make the lines of the water uh, like squiggly lines if it is still water the lines would be straight lines right so we don't want it to be straight lines we want to show movement so you can make lines like that when you reach the frog jump over squiggly lines anytime you reach the frog you are not drawing on the top of the frog okay squiggly line jump over continue squiggly lines jump over continue squiggly lines there is no space to draw here the water jump over and continue so that's how you show water you can even draw more squiggly lines if you want okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my um, black marker. So you will take the black marker from your marker box and then we are going to make the froggy. Draw the froggy. Go over all the lines. This part I'm not coloring. The rest I'm coloring black. right the nose the mouth now his arms or i don't know what to call these legs right okay. and then Now what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to put away my black marker. I'm going to take my blue marker. Blue, blue, blue. Now I'm going to make these water lines with the marker. Squiggly lines with the marker. So what would... It, it, it won't look like the froggy is moving if the lines are straight. Okay. So we have that. I'm going to just erase off the paper line. Not the paper. The uh, pencil lines. So next... We are going to color this uh, froggy and the water with the uh, crayons. So crayons, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take both, uh, what is the color of the frog? Um, green. So I'm going to take all the greens that I have. This is a blue green. I'm going to take that, the dark green and the light green. Okay. So uh, I'm going to color the frog's legs with the dark green so I'll try and stay within the lines okay. 
then this one. Back legs, I think, could have been a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. It's okay. After all, this is a cartoon froggy. Stay within the lines. And color as well as you can. Okay. So on top of this, I'm going to put some light green to fill in all this little space. Because, you know, when you put uh, two colors next to each other on the color wheel, it looks nice together. See, it has that fluorescent look. We want our froggy to be nice and shiny, right? Nice shiny froggy. The froggy is uh, in the water and so it is like nice and glossy looking. So shiny, we need to get that shine here. Next, uh, what you can do is I'm going to use all these three greens to color um, the frog. So I'm going to just color a section, a square like that, another like this. Random places I'm going to put. Then I'm going to take the other green. I'm going to put like that because I don't want the frog's body to be one color, one shade of green. We want this frog to look really, um, we want the stand to stand out, right? See that? Now I'm going to take the light green and I'm going to press really well and go over the frog. See that you're not coloring the eyes. Do you like how your frog looks now? Mr. Froggy, I like the way you're looking. You are so colorful. Though I used only green right so next what we're going to do is we are going to take blue this is blue this is a broken blue i'm going to uh color the water so if you have a um crayon without the the wrapping or the sleeve you can put it on the side and then color otherwise you'll hold it like this and then color lightly okay it's up to you how you color you can do this way or you can do it this way. The ripples in the water, we are showing it by with the marker. So it is going to stand out. The rest of the water is going to be light. Swim, little froggy, swim, swim, swim. It's okay even if you get a uh, go on top of the froggy because green is a color that you make by mixing. What are the colors that you mix to get green? Did I hear you guys saying yellow and blue? Yes, my friends, it is yellow and blue. So if a little bit yellow gets on top of the froggy, it's okay. We are done with this project for today and what we're going to do next is you're going to um, take a picture of your finished work and email it to me.
you don't have an email account, you will ask your mom or dad uh, to email this finished work of yours uh, so that I can see how you did this. Okay, so email me in the email address that I'm putting at the end of the video. I would like to see how you did it. I also add your name, room number and your uh, and your school name. So, okay, and then till we meet next time. Bye-bye.